Hey boys and girls, I uh, rarely ever uh, videotape my project, especially with this car, because it's a, a love-hate relationship. I've been trying to get it how I want for years, but I figured I would start. I'm halfway through this, I'm almost done with it now, but I am putting on a clenched, for, uh, clenched duck bill spoiler on my uh, 2007 IS350. Um, like I said, I'm halfway done. <clears throat> There's numerous tutorials on how to do this uh, video. I really didn't do much prep work. I kind of just used the, took the spoiler out of the box, fitted it, um, held it in place with painter's tape. Just, you know, taped uh, the spoiler down to the trunk um, once it was in place, you know, it was lined up on the sides and across this bottom seam, um, started drilling, started with the smallest hole that I could just to get the placement of the hole. Like I said, I just put it on, found the place, started drilling, drilled straight through the, the trunk um, with the first hole, uh, straight through the spoiler, straight through the trunk, first drill. Then I took the spoiler off. Here's the, uh, rib nut kit that comes with, uh, the clinch spoiler. Um, you know, you can never, you can always go bigger, but you can't go smaller. So I started small. Here's my cheap Amazon drill bit, or drill set, bit, set, whatever. I uh, got this uh, Rivnut tool off of Amazon too, just for this project. So like I said, I started small, um, ended up on the trunk so that the Rivnuts would sit flush, because that's you want the drill bit. That was, uh, I lost the instructions but I just ended up improvising. You want the drill bit to be the same diameter as the bottom, or as the, as the rib nut. Not the flange, but the rib nut itself. So as you can see, it'll just drop straight in, but it's not pressed in yet. This hole, I ended up on, uh, let's see if we can find it here. This is a, uh, Hold on, I gotta read it with my own eyes first. Five sixteenths. You might be able to see it. There you go. Five sixteenths for the trunk holes. And like I said, I started small on both holes, so I ended, so I went up in size on the spoiler and ended up with uh, 13th, 64th drill bit so on the spoiler for this try to get it in focus for you so you know I'm not lying uh, 13 sixty fourths um, obviously when I drilled the trunk holes I uh, laid tape over the hole like before I made my final you know the hole that actually matters I laid tape over the hole, even though I already had a, had a hole there. So the final finish would be, you know, the paint would be all nice and it wouldn't be marred or anything. Put the tape over, you know, I stepped up like two times. So I, I drilled a hole, wasn't big enough, drilled another hole, wasn't big enough. And I finally on the third hole, which is the, the big drill bit, ended up with uh, the right size. And I put fresh tape over each time that I drilled a new hole. So I did that all the way around. There's 12 holes in total. Like I said, this car is 14 years old. Uh, or 12, I don't know math. Um, yeah, no, 14, it's a 14 year old car. Uh, ended up with uh, holes here around the trunk. So I'm, I'm fitting it now. I'm gonna take my emblem off and put it on the spoiler because I think it'll just look better 
but I'm just getting it to, you know, just getting it fitted now. And eventually we'll paint the spoiler. So I've actually already uh, riv nutted this hole. Simple process, you put the right size on there. It's an M5 for the clinch kit on IS350s. You need a riv nut tool that has a M5 in it. I has 250s, 350s, mine's a 350. Uh, same thing, same body. Um, so when I come back, you, will, I'll show you all the holes with the rib nuts in them. This one's already done. This one's in here, and I was worried about, uh, you know, the in the the inside of this. Uh, now that you've drilled this hole, it's it's bare metal that's exposed on the, on the inside. I think this trunk is aluminum. I may be mistaken, but I think the trunk is aluminum. Either way, if it's not aluminum, the rib nuts, the way they work, they pinch the, the sheet metal together so that I don't think moisture is gonna get in there anyway. And even if it does, oh well, like I said, it's a 14 year old car. Um, so when I come back, I'll show you all the holes. So <clears throat> ran into a uh, small issue here. Probably not a big deal. I'm sure I can get it figured out. The second to last hole on each side, uh, here and here, uh, there's still some trunk in the way. Like uh, if you look down in there, there's still some sheet metal in the way. I think it's just a, a fold in the trunk or it's just part of the, the structure of it. So it's just metal. It's not like wires or anything. Um, so I'm probably, I'm just gonna have to drill through that. Um, and I'll show you the outcome once I do. So drill through that, I think I'll be okay. And we'll get this uh, wing mounted. All right, so all rib nuts are in, all 12 across the car. Um, clinched actually gives you more than you need, I think. There's probably like two, you know, like washer nut and uh, rib nut. There's probably, t you know, two more than what you need. Which is not a big deal. I guess if you ruin one, it's good to have a couple more if one gets lost. Or maybe the, the kits are all the same for all their all their duck bills. They just give you the maximum number of what you could ever need. So we'll get that get that wing mounted and I'll show you the finished product. So here's the finished project product. Uh it would have only taken me I don't know, a couple hours, hour and a half. It's really not a hard job, but um, I ran into some trouble with the duck bill. So I guess it is longer than a two hour job, depending on who you ask. I, I ended up going to a quarter inch hole for the spoiler, just so that the bolts had room to move around and find the rivnet nut on the, on the trunk like find the, the threads, cause they were, you know, when you thread something in a plastic and the plastic catches on the threads. So I went up to a quarter inch hole on the spoiler to give the, not only give me some room when trying to locate the hole, cause it's not a perfect fit. You know, you have to push on the, push on the fender, or excuse me, on the spoiler, push it, push down on it, push sideways on it to try to get the bolt in. So I went up to a quarter inch here. Um, I had to chase a couple of the riv nuts with the tap, like chase the threads, because this one started to uh, cross thread, and this one started to cross thread. Um, really, all of them probably, you know, you should probably chase the riv nuts anyway, so they go in a lot smoother, because that's what ended up happening. They just go in a little bit better. I guess don't do not do it if you have to, but um, so they're all in, they're all bottomed out at least to the washer, but my 
the uh, the bolts are apparently I don't know if they're one eighth one eighth they may be they're probably metric which I don't have so this uh, little cheap one eighth uh, bit you know started to round out because it's so soft so I can't get them tightened down but the bolt is so long it's there's so much thread in there that it's fine to drive with I just gotta I have actually have to drive it to work tomorrow so um, I'm not gonna take the wife's car but uh, I gotta find I think this is metric I could call clinch and ask them like I said I lost the instructions but I don't think this is a 1 8 bolt hole or uh, excuse me Allen key I think it's uh, I think it's metric I don't know the metric size so I gotta find that it's not a 1 8 because a true 1 8 won't fit this is a 1 8 so it says but it's you know like I said they're cheap so it's like a not a true 1 8 it, it went in there but it was the metal so soft it just rounded out so um, give you a better look at it I'll back up here <laughs> spoiler is on the duck bill is on looks looks a lot better in person pictures don't do it just it looks kind of to me it looks kind of corny and uh, on video or on a non-professional picture but I got this for functionality not just for looks um, and it's kind of like a NASCAR style you know uh, gurney flap if you will kind of it's a little bit more straight up than you'd find on most uh, most spoilers but it, it is going to produce downforce I know the uh, the the rally team that runs an IS350 they have a clinch duck duck bill spoiler on their rally car it's unpainted they just threw it on there you know obviously because it, it is functional it does provide I mean look at the look at the amount of uh, angle on that that's 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 some serious downforce there even if it is just a cheap plastic piece well it, it wasn't cheap to me it's 300 bucks actually I got it for less than that from uh, summit they gave me like this is around like uh, Christmas time like uh, Black Friday so I got it for like I don't know two fifty something like that it was enough to, to pull the trigger on it so they're all in I put the weather stripping on here too you definitely and it has to be painted so I'm probably gonna have to take the I am gonna have to take the weather stripping off, but I'm thinking when I do finally paint it, I'll just run the weather stripping on the front side. Uh, Cause the side, there's no way to make it look good. It looks kinda, it's kinda cheap if you will. So I might take it off on the side and here it is on the bottom. And it doesn't look bad across the bottom, but it's not really sealing. You know, it's past that that uh that panel that goes across here. Sorry, out of focus, but it's past that panel, so it's it's mostly there just to. It is actually sealing water. I guess it's sealed on the uh, inside, but I have to find a solution for the sides. But it's on. I like it. I'm gonna go drive it real quick. I probably won't notice a thing, but. <laughs> At least it's on there. I said I get my emblem from the uh, inside too, but that's the beauty of these rib nuts. You can just take the fender off, or take the, I keep calling it the fender. You can take the spoiler off if you need to. All right, so that's that. Thanks for watching.